Hello and welcome to Divergent Reactions. I'm Neurodiversity, a neurodivergent father to two neurodivergent kids. And if you want to know a bit more about what that means, you can check that out on my socials up there. But for now, we're on Divergent Reactions. And on this channel, we react to music, sports, culture, and entertainment from all over the world. So if that's your kind of thing, don't forget to press like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you get all the latest updates about when I go live and when the videos are online. But for now, we're going to get cracking with this video. Now, this video is another Coke Studio Season 14 from Coke Studio Pakistan. I've been loving this series. It's amazing. It was recommended me to me by one of my followers on Twitch, Irfan, and since I watched the first video, I've been hooked. This particular one is Sajan Dasna, or Sayan Dasna, by Atif Aslam and Mamina Mustasan. Now, I've seen both of these um, both of these artists in other Coach Studio videos, so I'm familiar with them both, but I've not seen them together. So we're going to watch this and enjoy. And I'm sure I'm going to enjoy it because I've enjoyed every single one so far and they've all been amazing. So let's get stuck in. Coke Studio, Season 14. I'm sorry, I paused it again because I want to take it all in and go back to the, just take all the lyrics in. So the first line was interesting. It was, where is it? The face life has paved as the first, the, sort of first line as well. It just straight away draws you in. Um, the fame this life has paved has had me enslaved. Yeah, so it's the restrictions of fame and celebrity status and, and you I imagine you lose a sense of freedom with that because people recognize you, they know who you are, they want to know more about you, they want to know the ins and outs of your life, I guess. And you're 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 tied to you're committed to that lifestyle and you're committed to that persona. And I, I guess that's kind of you know, I guess that's kind of like there comes a tipping point, doesn't there? Like for now, like, you know, if you're an amateur musician or what I'm doing, it's a hobby. And then there'll be other people who were like got millions of followers and then they feel like they have to stick to that. So I, I kind of get that's that's the vibe I'm getting from it at the moment. Um, and then he talks about obviously life. I don't feel fulfilled without you. So it's another another song about love and f not feeling complete without that person there. Really good. Yeah, so it's all about obviously tell me what to do. I'm lost. I'm stuck. I'm. I've got to choose between the love of my life and the fame that I've acquired. I guess the this the two. It's the balance. You know who who do I like? What I, su I suppose it's like into what do you call it? An existential crisis. It's like a kind of how do I how do I make that choice? The sacrifice between the one person that I want in my life forever. That I've drifted apart from and the value that I bring to the, the joy and happiness of everybody else as a celebrity state in this case as a celebrity status of fame I'm guessing that's what it means um like is the like will 
it's, it's it's an interesting life dynamic i imagine as a celebrity it's a hard decision of fact what adds more value to the world i guess and the world that you're in not just the world not just the world you know we know which one would likely add more to the world it would be the 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 idea that you have a certain social power that you can advocate for better you know you, if a, a person in that position as a celebrity status can make the world a better place by the music might save people's lives it might um it might bring them like a happiness it might give them magic moments for like their wedding dances or things like that but on the flip side there's somebody there who really needs you as a person it doesn't matter whether you're a celebrity or not they need you that person so within your world as the celebrity like that they're both they're both your world it's 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 such a weird interesting dynamic i that I, i've gone deep into that it's quite a simple lyric but that's the beauty of these lyrics and i love this coke studio series because it, it the lyrics are poetic enough and it gets translated but the lyrics are poetic enough that they they allow you to sort of explore those ideas in a way that anybody can understand them i guess because it isn't just as simple as saying it's either fame or me like in the case of a loved one it's a lot more complicated than that and that's it's it's taking you on a journey and that's exactly what the songs do it's taking you on a journey i love it <laughs> whistle the other flute that one beautiful and um, it's really nice it's it's like uh i love I, what i love about these coke studios duets is that they're giving you both sides of the story in the song they're giving you the like the two perspectives um and hearing the same story from two different sides and it's it's great it's 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 brilliant it's brilliant um i kind of just want to go back to around here somewhere um, since some days your memories keep flooding my mind, do what I can. Without you, life has been unkind. So he's saying that, like, certainly going back to the lyrics at the start, you know, the fame, the fame has brought the sort of like the responsibility of fame and the restrictions that is like the the, the lack of freedom that gives in that respect, not financial freedom, but the lack of social freedom, and then that's kind of what he's talking about i guess with life has been unkind it's not been it's been kind to him in terms of like a financial wealth and uh an affirmation of oneself but you lose it becomes trivial i guess in what he's saying you lose the important you lose the important things in life loved ones <laughs> Oh, 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 
song as always as always these post studio songs are brilliant that's beautiful i love it again my reactions are all the same <laughs> it's uh it's just it's just so refreshing to see like not just have my eyes open to like a new world of music but like just to see i don't worry i'm gonna sound really really like what's the word it's gonna sound really naive but like a different way of doing things like a different musicality I, don't, I i that's not as eloquent as how i normally say these things but it's just like it's nice to just see a different side of the world to literally i guess um at how these ideas are presented because i'll be honest like western pop music i'm getting i'm getting bored you know i'm getting on a bit anyway but i hear the same stuff over and over and you don't hear many artists with this kind of i say vulnerability it's like um it doesn't sound as commercial which is a good thing maybe it is in you know in pakistan i don't know in asia in india bangladesh you know the countries where that influence maybe maybe, maybe it's but popular and commercial i guess are two different things is what i'm getting at the song could be popular but it doesn't have to be it's not made for the money. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's made. This is artistry. This is art, and that's what I'm getting out of it. It's not just a. It's not just a copy and paste song to put a record out. It feels like there's artists who've written songs and, and they're giving it giving it their all, and that's what I love about this series. So again, as always, excellent suggestion. Thank you so much for opening my eyes to this. Um, Coke Studio and all the comments. I've had some amazing comments about this series on my videos. So I am absolutely flattered. So thank you. Do stick around for more divergent reactions. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and notify. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.